Welcome to the Joy of Music. My name is Diane Bish, and today we welcome you to Spain, where we feature the music, the basilica, and the monastery of Montserrat. Join us for a visit to one of the most picturesque and amazing destinations in the world, as we bring you in sight and sound, music from Montserrat. Northwest of Barcelona, 30 kilometers, stands Montserrat, a mountain that astonishes you the moment it comes into view. Seen from the distance looming up alone out of the landscape, its silhouette is reminiscent of the tooth blades of a saw. In fact, it was once said that this mountain was something sawn by angels. It is at the base of this mountain that we find the ancient monastery of Montserrat. The history of Montserrat, one of the five main hermitages on the mountain, begins in the 9th century with the arrival of the Benedictines from Ripoli. In 1025, Abbot Oliva founded a priory on the site, which grew rapidly in importance, until by the 13th century the Romanesque buildings had to be greatly enlarged. Every century saw additions to the monastery making it an anthology of masterpieces from every architectural style. In 1812, however, disaster struck. The monastery was sacked by the French. The present buildings, therefore, are 19th and 20th century. The church facade was completed in 1968. At the end of the dark, overly ornate basilica stands the Shrine of the Black Madonna.
organ of the Montserrat Monastery Basilica is the largest of the shrine. It is always played by the monks that are specialized in this kind of instrument. The organ was built by Aquilino Amazua during the late 19th century. Its first placement was the upper choir of the basilica, just the place where monks do their first and last prayers, but since has been moved to the left side of the major altar. As in the past, the organ continues to sustain the life of prayer of the monks and lead in worship, masses, and special services. It is my pleasure to welcome to the Joy of Music today, violinist Joy Brown Wiener. A frequent guest on the Joy of Music, Joy Wiener was the concertmaster of the Memphis Symphony for over 40 years and continues her art today in solo concerts and chamber music performances worldwide.
Several times during the day, eight bells cast between 1955 and 1958 ring from the Gothic Tower, dating back to the 14th century. The bells bring the monks, the boys in the choir, those who work at the shrine, pilgrims, visitors, and tourists, all to the basilica to form a single community in prayer, which despite the many languages, looks to God the Father, their source of all goodness, to ask for solidarity among people and peace on earth. Antonio Soler was one of the great composers of Spain for the organ. In many Spanish churches, there are two organs in the church or more, one in the back and one in the front. Antonio Soler wrote music or concertos for two organs and two organists. I would like to play one of the movements of his concerto in A minor for two organs as arranged for one organ.
From the Mozart Monastery Basilica, we hear the great organ in a chorale prelude of Johann Sebastian Bach. That all together praise our God upon his lofty throne. He hath his heavens unclosed today and given to us his son. Now open stands the once closed door of Eden's garden ways. The angel wardeth it no more. To God be thanks and praise. To God be thanks and praise. Diane Bish and I would like to thank you for joining us today on the Joy of Music as we have come to you from Spain in a program entitled Music from Montserrat. Our music has come from the beautiful Basilica of the Monastery of Montserrat. Thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you again next week on the Joy of Music.
Diane Bish and the Joy of Music wish to thank Air France for their support in making this program possible.